Um, again, string objects have many useful methods to do things like um, replacing characters, converting to lowercase. So this is, this is these are very common tasks. So if uh, if you use Word, Microsoft Word document, you can actually select the string or select the paragraph, whatever you want to either change it to lowercase, uppercase. So these are just simple methods that are, have already been incorporated in Microsoft Word. So again, uh, you can also use the built-in methods available to do these uh, simple tasks. Capitalizing the first character, splitting and joining the string, etc. So what we are going to study next is the split method. So the Cobalt programming task is to break a larger string down into some substrings. Now the split method actually, so you might be wondering that uh, we can use the slice operation to do the same thing. We can actually extract the substring using slice operation. But the split method actually splits the entire string into number of chunks and arrange them into a list of elements, okay? So it is splits a string into a list of tokens. We call it tokens or substrings, and arrange it and return uh, the list of all those tokens, all those substrings as an output. Okay. We need a separator around which we want to split our string. So suppose you have a simple sentence like, uh, "I live in Stanford." So there is a, a space in between "I" and "live" and Stanford. Right? So we can specify the space around which we want to split the entire string. So it would generate a list of three elements, containing three elements, I as a separate element, live separate element, and Stanford, uh, another separate element. Okay? So this example, default separator is a wide split. So in this split method, if we do not specify any 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 separator. So default is taken as a white space. So here, like let's say string equals I love Python. I know most of you don't, but this is just an <laughs> example. So we do not specify anything. It actually splits the entire string around the white space character, and it the output would be a list containing these three elements. These three tokens substring as a separate element in the list. Okay. So again. This is important to remember. A split method returns the output in the form of a list. Okay? Let's take another example. Um, it's a separator. So if we specify a separator, let's say forward slash. So let's take the example of this code, input enter URL. So what this line is doing is actually expecting user to provide the input. And suppose the user is providing the uh, web address. Okay, and now what we want to do is to split that web address around the forward slashes. Okay, and then we print tokens. So here is an example, en.wikipedia.org uh, forward slash wiki forward slash ethernet forward slash. And once we print this, so you can see Around every forward slash, the string is um, split into sub tokens, sub strings. Okay, and here you can see this is not a mistake here; it's an empty string because we have a um, we have a forward slash at the end. Also, this is important again. So, uh, forward slash at the end, Estella, are you <laughs> here? So the forward slash at the end would lead to have an empty element in the end of the list. You can see it here, okay? Because we are uh, splitting the uh, string around the forward slash. So for the first forward slash, it extracts this element, and then the second forward slash, it extracts this element, and then it, around this forward slash, it extracts this Ethernet element, and there is an empty string at the end. If there would be no forward slash at the end, then there would be no last element, last empty element. Okay? So you gotta concentrate carefully when you see such kind of thing in your exam. Okay? Okay, so next thing is surprise. Maybe I pause it here.
All right, so we have discussed a split method. Another method that we can actually run on a string data types is a join method. It is exactly the inverse operation of a split method. Uh, we also have to specify the separator. So how does a string method, uh, sorry, a split method works? So we have an input a string, sequence of characters, and we split it around a separator, and the output is, output is what? The split method I'm talking about. The output of the split method is a list, okay? It's a list containing all the tokens or all the substrings that are separate uh, that are actually extracted around the separator that we specify so we say we are talking about join method which is exactly the inverse which means that here input would not be a string input would be a list and the output would be a string and list would take a separator it would concatenate all the elements in the list with the help of the separator in between. So example, here the separator is at dot join, and then we have a list, okay? So we can only pass a single list in join method. So this is a list containing multiple elements. So it creates a string with a, with a separator in between. Bill Gates put a separator at Microsoft. If I would have another element, like let's say uh, um, maybe Seattle, so it would create a Bill Gates at Microsoft at Seattle. Okay, understand? So join method takes single list argument. Each element in the list is concatenated, as I said, with a separator in between. 